One North Central Florida law enforcement agency says they will use every tool at their disposal to catch sexual offenders and predators who try to dodge the system. That's why they're tapping into the power of the web's biggest social networking site. TV 20 Steve Campion reports how they're looking to Facebook to catch predators. While some never use it, many can't help but log on to Facebook not just once, but several times a day. It's that enthusiasm, or what some may call obsession, that the Alachua County Sheriff deputies hope will result in locating convicted but missing sex offenders. As a mom, you have to be prepared to know all the things you can. Mother of two girls, Victoria Mena of Gainesville, is protective by nature, which is why she has visited the Florida Department of Law Enforcement's website to see if any sex offenders live near her children. They go outside and play. You can't always keep an eye on them, um, but you can do your best to know what's going on in your community and to know what's going on in your neighborhood. What's going on or who may be at large soon could be on your Facebook's news feed. Alachua County Sheriff's deputies say will now post names and pictures of sexual offenders and predators on its fan page, meaning for over 1,000 people who've liked the sheriff's office, they won't have to go far to see which offenders can't be located. The social media sites get a lot more attention than the sheriff's actual website. Detective Brandon Kuttner says offenders or predators may be more inclined to turn themselves in if they see their pictures on Facebook rather than on the FDLE website. He says in the two days since the initial posting, one sex offender, Oscar Green, has already made plans to do so. He actually contacted my office today, uh, this early this afternoon, after seeing his face on Facebook. Sex offenders or predators who fail to tell law enforcement where they live in a timely fashion face a third-degree felony. Police say Facebook is the logical approach. It's another tool that law enforcement can use in our efforts to get information to the public on a timely basis. This intertwining of public safety and personal communication left this mom a bit mixed, but even she admits Facebook's influence is unmistakable. Something that's on Facebook, then everybody knows about it. Now don't worry, for all those social media addicts out there, I asked, and Detective Kuttner says the post may soon be coming to Twitter as well. Steve Campion, TV20 News.